The Trump administration taking some new steps to crack down on welfare. President Trump signing a memorandum to enforce a 1996 law that forces the sponsors of green card holders to reimburse the government for any financial or medical benefits that the immigrant may use. Here now to weigh in is the vice president of foreign policy at the Heritage Foundation, James Carafano. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Good to be with you. So what the president did is this memorandum enforces a 23-year-old law requiring the sponsors of these green card holders to reimburse the government. 23 years this has been in place. He's just saying, hey, we're going to enforce it now. Yeah. So it's shocking that this is news, right? This is a law that was signed by Bill Clinton, and it, it basically says what has always been a part of modern U.S. immigration law, which is uh, if you are coming to the United States, you should not be a, a public charge. And the responsibility is both an assessment on the immigrant that's coming in, but also on their sponsor. And so actually there is a requirement in the law that if that immigrant is a public charge and they are drawing payments, that the, the sponsor is signs on as having a, a fiscal, uh, a legal responsibility to reimburse the government for those costs. Mm -hmm. And and those costs can be tremendous because we can take a look at the numbers. 58% of non-citizen households were on at least one welfare program. Yeah, and it's really important that we get this right because part of what makes America a successful immigration nation is immigrants are in that positive and, and we can't have a growing public charge about bringing people in and it costs us more money to bring in than they're bringing back to society. Now, critics are going to say, oh, but don't worry about that. Put them on welfare. You know, eventually they'll get a job and they'll pay that back. But look, we know in America when we put people on welfare, it just creates a dependence and they don't contribute to society. So that's, we have that problem with our own citizens. So why would we amplify that by essentially importing more people and then socializing them never to focus on giving back, but only focus on being a public charge. Yeah. So why do you think uh, the intention is being drawn to this now when, as you say yourself, this was signed by President Bill Clinton way back in the day? Well, I think there's two reasons. One is it, it does shift the focus to where uh, the argument is going in terms of legal immigration reform. People who come here legally, right, to a, a program based on merit, let's build a system that's designed that people that come to America are making a net contribution. And and this, I think, is kind of socializing people that. So I think it's an important yeah. part of the debate. And but we should also be honest, it's just good politics for the president, right? Americans don't like the unfairness of bearing the fiscal burden for uh, immigration. And, and the people that support the president um, they're going to they're going to see this as a commitment by him to the things that, that they're concerned about. Yeah.